Mark, we're going to be talking about Open Minds Hypermill software um, and the manufacturing of uh, this rather tasty part here. But before we do that, um, just maybe give us your opinion on this MX520 pallet machine from Matsura, because you've had it now a, a couple of years, haven't you? We have indeed, yeah. It's a great machine. Uh, we use it for doing all the larger parts that we do through the factory. And as you can see, it can turn out some, some pretty good work for us. What is this? So this is a 250cc um, two-stroke bike engine, one half of it. Uh, it's a development part we're doing for a customer that it's a, a bike he's hopefully trying to put into production. Okay, now the other, the other half of it is on the Yeah, the other half is currently on the machine now, so, yes. So that's been machined. Um, you, how do you go about programming something like this, Mark? So it's very time consuming. I had to do a lot of the modelling on this as well. So we got a very basic model from, uh, from the customer. I probably spent in excess of 100 hours remodeling it to get it to something that we could machine, which was all done through HyperCAD S. Um, and then, yeah, many hours programming and playing around to get it right. Okay, so, so he supplied you with a model, but that, wasn't, that yeah. wasn't good enough for what you wanted to cook. No, so he used a third party company which modeled it for him, but it was just full of gaps. There was no radiuses on it anywhere. They basically re reverse engineered it from a casting. So it wasn't actually machinable when we received it. And how does Open Minds Hypermill help you do that process then? Um, it's good. The modeling software is pretty good. It's very intuitive. It enabled us to remodel, delete surfaces, resurface where we needed to, to create fillets so we could machine the part. Generally then, the relationship between these two, it's quite a smooth process between getting the, um, the cam to actually interface yeah, and get exactly. the program in the machine to produce the part is there yep. and with that being the case does it deliver the final part in the way you wanted it to be it does indeed yeah it's very very slick process i mean all our cad stations are linked to the machine via dnc so we don't even have to use usbs very rarely have to re-edit programs if i'm honest very rarely and do you think that you are making this as fast as you could possibly make it thanks to hypermill software um Yes, I think when we do our second run, then definitely it'll be where we need it to be, yeah. And you don't have to worry about having an accident? No, not at all. We, we can trust it now, so just tweaking tool paths, we would trust the CAD implicitly.